Not ideal. Not great so far. I know what you're thinking. Stella, you're looking gorgeous. This haircut really brings out that inner beauty. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm looking like a bit of a hot mess. I don't always look 24 seven gorgeous. So I think, I, think I, I need to style it. So many of you have asked me how on earth I will style this look and right about now I'm asking that myself, but don't worry. I got a million and one tricks up my sleeve and I'm gonna turn this into, into legit gold. I was going to film this video hours ago. It's now nine at night. I came here at three. I spent the last six hours completely reorganizing these four drawers. No, no, don't focus on that. That, that is none of, that is none of your business. This, this is what's going to blow your mind. Yes, yes. This is the skin drawer. We've got foundations, concealers. You've got your blushes and your liners and then all of your tools. And then we have this one. Palettes, palettes, more palettes. But I did these two drawers as well. Got brushes, tools, all the tools and toys and clips you could possibly want for. And then I finally put all of my electronics in here. And then this one, headbands, crunchies, upon more things, my lenses. Yes, I am very happy with myself. Thank you. I was going to add these guys in with the rest of my skincare, except I realized I never showed them off to you and they are the proud sponsor of this video. Before you completely write this off as another influencer's skincare routine that no one asked for, please stick around because I guarantee there is going to be at least one thing that impresses you from this, from this brand, from this collection. So just, just hear me out. This is yours skincare. I had the privilege of hopping on a FaceTime call with her founder, Navneet, one of the humblest, nicest, most down-to-earth people ever, who sought out to make one of the cleanest yet effective skincare brands out there. Recently, I have been dealing with a ton of like skin things, particularly what to put on my skin. There's just so many things. And I purchased every single one of these things because every single TikTok video makes a convincing argument on why this, this ingredient is beneficial for your skin. I am just... Mm. And then I discovered this. They are a fully personalized, customizable skincare brand. So every single product that you get from them is custom manufactured to your skin needs and your skin wants. You just need to go on their website. You need to take their skin assessment test. So the minute you go onto your skincare, they will take you to the basic the, the assessment page where you put in all of your details, where you're located, where you're from, what are your stress levels, what do you think your skin issues are, and then, you take the selfie analysis test. One of the coolest bits of technology out there. You take a selfie in a well-writ room of your skin and it'll automatically detect what is wrong with your skin and put it all in a product. If you are as confused as about skincare as I am, if you are extremely gullible by all the TikTok videos and all the dermatologists and you end up buying everything or wanting to buy everything because you don't know what do you need and you don't know what needs to go on your skin and all of that is very confusing, <gasps> maybe this could be for you. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wash my hair and I'm gonna prep myself for a full makeover because no, I'm not gonna lie, I look, I, I look questionable like I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> it's what I'm saying. I should change out my piercings. Bam! How is everything red now? Not ideal. Not great so far. Doesn't matter if your hair is short or long. You still need you still need the prep. Point is, it's gotta be like wet, wet. Okay, my face is now redder than ever, which means it's super dry, so I need the skincare more than ever. Okay, um, I should cleanse my face. Some yummy toner. And now for my favorite part, 
the two-step skincare routine for Stella. So this is what you get if you order your products. This is your day routine and your night routine. And it literally tells you everything that the product contains to battle every single one of the issues that the selfie analysis found. In this product, Day Serum, we have Sulfora White, which fades away pigmentation and skin spots. Also has niacinamide, which helps even out dark spots. And vitamin C. They're, they're, they're this too. Every, everything is in these two products. I don't need to buy a vitamin C serum. I don't need to get any like collagen boosters. I don't need retinoids. I don't need anything because they're right here. And it's all for Stella. Right there. Um, I'm gonna be going in with the night products. It is now 10.23 p.m. And they are the super elegant designs. They are super sweet, super cute. They are very adorable. You put on your serum. I don't know why my face is so red. Probably because I had the heating on maximum in my studio. But this is definitely helping it. Oh. And now we go in with the moisturizer. Look at it. It's so rich. Mm -mm -mm. Of course, don't forget your neck. Um, I want to link uh, this everything down below. But please stay tuned until the very end of the video where I'll be announcing a giveaway that you can enter for you to win your own personalized skin collection. So I think the mullet haircut or whatever this haircut is, because I've had a lot of people messaging me, it's not about it. Whatever this haircut is, it can be quite versatile because as you saw previously, it could go pretty forward and look like a mullet, or it could be quite trendy and be like an early 2000s kind of a haircut. I don't know which to go for. I could go for the standard one. I think I want to work with this. I think this is something I want to work with. But I do need to add some product so that it actually starts to like stay like this. Serum. Mullets tend to look somewhat unstylish, but we don't want them to look dry. We do want it to look almost oily. But if not oily, very shiny, so. Next, I'm gonna go in with the sea salt spray. I like it. Basically, I want my hair to kind of dry naturally, but with a tiny bit of help, but with no heat. I feel very early 2000. Come on, you're hurting my reputation. Thank you. I think that's all I'm gonna do for now for the hair. I do kind of just want to see it how, how it dries. I think I've got a lot of potential. I definitely feel early 2000s. I am going to just leave, to leave it like that for now and hop onto makeup. But look at this shine on my cheeks. Mm. Because I look like a literal watermelon. Why? I feel like, well, I might as well use that to my advantage. So I'm thinking of going like full blush, like minimal makeup, but noticeable, kind of. First thing we gotta do is prime our face. Now, fair enough, our face is probably already primed with the amount of skincare there is on it. But look at this primer. It is very pink and pretty. It is called Pink Elixir. Fun thing about having bangs is that you don't ever really need to put makeup on your forehead or worry about that. That's a fun discovery. Well, if our face wasn't shiny before. <laughs> Concealer, because, it, do I need foundation? Maybe like minimal, because I feel like there's like some blemishes that I'm not entirely a fan of. This is very like lightweight and it's really like not high coverage, so I'm definitely still gonna have the redness. I just want the tiniest bit. Dot, 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 dot. Normally, at this point, I would set it all with like a powder, but I'm enjoying this like sticky looking face that I have. I'm enjoying the dew. Brown has glitter in it. Did you absolutely screw up your eyebrow? Don't worry. That's so why we have a pinky finger. And that's why we also don't fuss about foundation. Is my face already insanely red? Yes. Am I going to add way more redness? <laughs> yes, thank you for asking. I have this thing, it's called Cheek Do. I look slightly sunburned. Who, who doesn't like that <laughs> at times? 
Like maybe I do want to look partially, you know, sunstroked at 10.59 in the evening. Okay, apparently I'm really, really going for this like blush look. Literally look like I fell asleep in the sun with goggles. <coughs> and if we're not already too pink, we're gonna be even more. This is by Dior, can you see? Can you see it's by Dior? It's by, I didn't buy, they sent it to me. If we weren't pink enough and shiny enough, well then, don't worry. We're going to be even pinker and even shiny. At this, at this point, I have just mastered the look of swelling. Like if I have a fever, I feel like this is what I'd look like just with a tiny bit more dark circles. Oh my God, I found this one. How cute is this? Not that cool, apparently. It's speaking to my elfin vibes that I'm getting, but I also found this one. <laughs> I have an idea. I have this palette as well. Let's go for it. I pray to God this works. I'm scared. What if it looks stupid? Well, yeah, but what if it's not? Okay, I'm vibing, I'm vibing. I'm vibing with it, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel it needs something else though. This is a really pretty pencil, like so pigmented and I never played with it. Oh yes, oh yes. This was one of the most stress relieving makeup looks of my life. Like there are no rules. You can't possibly mess this up. I just thought of something. Nobody panic. Since we're breaking all of the rules today, we're breaking a literal Stella classic. Purple mascara. Never used before. I think this can look good. If it doesn't, I can always cover it up with black. Does this look need more blush? Yes, but I'm using the wrong kind. Freckles! I wonder if you guys were expecting like a really rough and tough look, kind of like how all my previous mullet looks were. If so, I think this is the polar opposite. I think it needs yellow, where I've never put yellow before. Lips, 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 lips. What color? Red. Dark? Mm. I have so many lip choices. Which one's the right one? I've got berry. I feel like berry is a nice color. Doily lip liner. Yes. No. Yes. Colourpop sent me this thing. All the lip liners of my dreams. Let's pick one. Let's do you. I got three different glosses and I don't know which one will work best. This one's spicy, but it's kind of dark. This one's spicier, but it's kind of light. This one might be right. Let's try it. Let's put it on. I got these necklaces and I'm really hoping they're not gonna be like way too much for what I'm thinking for my weird elfin look but this whole thing is kind of it doesn't have a it doesn't have a rule book this look it's just kind of developing as it goes i don't know how this haircut inspired this look but it did Ooh. I genuinely have no idea how this look came about, but this is it. This is the look and I am happy. I'm a happy freaking person because I, ha I have lip gloss on my teeth. That is not, mm. hopefully this goes to show you that a haircut does not necessarily mean one thing and one thing only. Haircuts are very versatile. Hair is very versatile and very often it can lead to many, many different wonderful things. But I always get inspired by the, by the hair first. That is, you know, 
that is me i am the hair girl <laughs> look at how it curls at the end that is my natural little curlies i freaking love this so that's it that is the look that i am so in love with i am so happy and remember if you don't set rules and limits to yourself you can create wonderful things i know that feels really freaking silly but it's how i live my life <laughs> that's it as i mentioned all of the skin details are going to be listed down below i very very sincerely urge you to at least give the brand a look see if it fits your needs and your specifications collaboration with yours they were also very very kind enough to allow me to set up a giveaway if you want and if you're excited if you do want to try them out i'm going to be leaving a link below that you can follow can receive personalized customized skincare from yours so that you can give it a go if you want you can go ahead follow the link and then leave your name and email in it to automatically enter the giveaway as well as leave a comment down below to let me know what your favorite skincare product is and that you cannot live without so if you want that's going to be down below as well as any other additional details of the video as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me as well as any other hair related content and please stay tuned for some even more exciting hair transformation oh my god oh my god the things i have planned this year oh i think you guys will approve anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you'll give it a go and i will see you in my next video toodaloo